Oi, oi, all right, all right, how's it going? I'm Grant, you're you, and this is Doodle Review, the channel where we review and talk about music in any genre, but with a special place in our heart for rock and guitar-based music. Today, we're turning that attention to the latest album, The Comeback Kid by Marnie Stern. Marnie Stern is a renowned electric guitarist from New York City. Stern is known for her technical skill that includes tapping and other shred-like characteristics, but... While these techniques are typically more associated with metal, Stern's draw is that she combines this approach to the guitar with a very New York indie art rock sensibility. The Comeback Kid is the fifth Marnie Stern record and it's a very apt title as it is kind of a comeback. Um, it's her first record in about 10 years. In the long time between releases, Stern has been touring but mainly playing in the 8G band, the live band on the late night chat show, Late Night with Seth Meyers. And as someone that had never heard of Stern prior to this album, I have to admit I found the chaotic nature of the song arrangements mixed with the kind of art artist's upper register and kind of off-kilter vocals a bit of a turn-off, at least at first. As with a lot of more abstract or unconventional music, you do have to allow some time to acclimatise, some time to compromise and meet the music in the middle in order to appreciate it. Uh, and that has happened for me over time on this record, although it does still lose me at certain points. The Natural is probably the best example of what I mean when I say I feel lost on this particular album. The song starts like the band have actually been jamming for kind of six minutes prior to the start of it and they only just remember to hit record. So at this point, instantly you feel like you're kind of trying to find something to hold on to amidst the cacophony. You have all of these kind of needle-like tapped guitar parts which then evolve into this chorus part where Stern's voice is dancing around this really high melody that's just about in tune before going into this heavy climactic part before coming back around to that chorus a final time. It's kind of cool in how crazy it is but it also comes off as a bit of a meme of what people who kind of don't typically like unconventional music here when they listen to it like it's just all over the place it could be the archetype of what you know the average person might deem as unlistenable artsy music the first time you hear the comeback kid the whole thing sounds like that to be honest but as i say after a few listens i at least found myself coming around on it one of the tracks i've really come around to is actually uh, believing is seeing it starts with this repeated high note, which really reminds me of Yeah Yeah Yeahs. And it builds and builds with these claps and backing vocals before slamming into these heavier chords with heavy drums. And I've got to give it up to the drums overall, actually. They are fantastic throughout the album, managing to ground the chaos while themselves being interesting and dynamic. At points it almost sounds like what you're hearing is a recording of Marnie Stern and the drummer, I'm not sure who that is sadly, but it's a recording of them just like locked in this telepathic back and forth trading riffs for rolls and chords for crashes. On a performance level it's totally impressive. Il Giratondo della Notte is a really interesting song to take note of. This is actually a cover of an Ennio Morricone track. The original being something that is mostly choir based with a string section towards the end of the piece. And in the hands of Marnie Stern, the choir becomes backing for her riffing, which might sound kind of unnecessary, but the combination of the two elements, as well as the way it's produced, kind of create this haunting sound. It actually reminded me of how the Pixies might present some of their kind of like odder songs. Uh, it's one I really like. While I've come to enjoy quite a bit of the record i find there are more songs where i enjoy just parts or segments of them rather than the whole thing um, i feel in some respects like many pieces here are just they're just kind of stuck together parts and on that basis i'd give this record a 5.5 out of 10 but definitely one to check out if you're into guitarists that really push the boundary of what music you can create with that instrument all right cheers for listening to me chat for off about that record if you've enjoyed this let me know i'd love to keep doing this and dedicating time to these reviews and every comment every subscription is a step toward that so do consider doing one or both of those things subscribe share some thoughts show some love or just help some abuse in the comments there are some other videos linked in the description below that you might like as well okay cheers mate bye <laughs>